he missed my back and then got my got my arm. The attack came out of nowhere. I touched my back. I feel wet, right? We were splitting. So I covered it up and then I pushed my hand, giving her some pressure on the wound. These physical injuries will eventually heal, but it's the emotional scars, they say, that will stay with them forever. I keep watching people. I pay attention on those people's hands. What are they holding? I don't feel safe. Everywhere you go, you just be careful. Somebody behind you, or in front of you, or beside you, you don't know, right? I totally changed. I, I, never had, I never had that feeling before. Global News spoke to two of the victims of Sunday's stabbing spree in Chinatown. The couple in their 60s didn't want to be identified because they fear for their safety. Now traumatized after a Sunday outing turned violent. When if he not hit my back, he hit me somewhere is more serious and then maybe, you know, I'm gone, right? The couple believes they were stabbed with a metal file. <laughs> Multiple sources confirmed to Global News this is Blair Donnelly. The 64-year-old is facing three counts of aggravated assault and remains in custody. In 2008, he was found not criminally responsible for the stabbing death of his 16-year-old daughter. Donnelly was on a day pass when he allegedly stabbed three people. I feel upset for this is very serious crime. Why they let him go out? A guy who had killed a daughter, right? his own daughter. I think the system is, is totally failed. They're questioning Canada's mental health and justice system, wondering why Donnelly wasn't supervised on Sunday. For me, I need freedom too when I walk out. I feel safe, right? Not just walk out and then you just scare that someone might hit you again. Their sense of security now shaken. They say there needs to be real change in hopes of preventing future random attacks. Krista Dow, Global News.